Have you ever wondered how to do the slash and spread dart manipulation in Adobe Illustrator? Well, today we are going to be doing just that. Hi, I'm Christina, and I'm super excited to be showing you how to do the slash and spread manipula dart manipulation in Adobe Illustrator. I love to digitally apparel pattern in Adobe Illustrator, and I hope you find the same love as well. So let's get started. I'm going to be opening up Adobe Illustrator and pulling up my half scale pattern. If you are interested in my half scale, definitely check the link below so that you can get your own half scale and begin manipulating it yourself. So to begin, I'm going to be um, ungrouping my pattern because right now it is fully grouped and the bust point and that front notch are grouped and if I don't ungroup it, all the cutting that I'm going to do in just a minute is not going to work. So if your pattern is grouped, make sure that it is ungrouped so you can easily manipulate it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a line going of where I want my new bust point to go. But I want to make sure that I'm not going to the top of the dart like I started to do. Don't do that. Go to the bust point. So that is the new line that I want to create my dart manipulation on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this anchor point up to the bust point. This makes it so that I'm moving, I can cut right to that and then just manipulate that part of the garment. So now it's time to cut my garment apart. And I don't have to break out the scissors and hope that I get just close enough to that corner to be able to manipulate. I can cut and then repaste it back together. So I'm gonna cut on that anchor point and I'm gonna cut on that intersect. And then I'm gonna highlight just that small portion of my pattern and I'm going to rotate it, but I wanna make sure that I'm rotating it at the bust point. And I'm just gonna rotate it closed just like that. And there we have the start of it. So then all I have to do is finish penning in that. And then you're gonna want to close up all your pattern pieces. So right now I have this guy is a little long, so I'm gonna bring him so that it's right there on the edge. I'm then gonna highlight those two anchor points, Control Shift Alt J, and it's gonna ask me, is that a corner or smooth? It is a corner, and it has now connected those two points to complete the pattern. Then I want to see here. Great, they are not connected. You are, and you are not connected. Perfect, so I'm gonna move that back. So those guys are the original dart legs that I don't want anymore, so I'm just gonna get rid of those guys. But before I move forward, I wanna make sure that I reconnect the pattern down here. So I'm gonna highlight those two, Control Shift Alt J, and it didn't ask me that time if it was a corner or smooth, but what I wanna make sure that I do is highlight that and make it a nice arc because you don't want that point in the middle of your waist, you want to smoothly work around your entire body. And then the last thing you would need to do is move this dart out. We're working in half scale, so we're gonna do uh, 0.5 and we're gonna go 180, that's not gonna be quite right. And you want to split that guy, so I'm gonna rotate him right off the bus point. That looks about even. And then you just move that dart out, delete him, and you have moved your dart from under bus to side with just a slash and spread, and then you reconnected all your patterns. Super quick, super easy. If you're wondering how you do it with the pivot method, definitely check the video above because there are a few different ways to do it. Uh, and depending on how you like to pattern or what your design pattern consists of, different ways work different work better with different designs. So definitely check out how to do the pivot method as, at, as well. And I am super excited that you joined me today. If you liked this video, 
definitely consider liking and subscribing so that you can see more fun ways to digitally apparel pattern in Adobe Illustrator so you can get creating your own wearable art. We will see you in another video. Happy patterning!